episode one of Road to 80. My name is Gavin Young, and I love baseball. Um, I'm just going to explain the concept of the series. Pretty simple, throw 80 miles an hour. Um, I'm a freshman in high school. My goal is to throw 80 before sophomore tryouts next year. Um, it's, I'm in the summer right now, so now's a good time to start working on it. I'm coming off of a rotator cuff injury. I had tendonitis, and so I was throwing about... 70 pretty easily start of the season and now I'm sitting about 60 67 to 70 so I'm velo is definitely a little down but my goal is to work my way up to 80 and I have about eight months to do so and that's a really big jump but I'm confident I can do it if I diet correctly and I put on 20 pounds of muscle and so I believe that it is definitely possible if I work on my flexibility and turn that new strength into velocity um so today started my morning out with a little good meal went to practice for basketball and then hit the weight room for a couple hours we got home around noon after going to the y after high school weights and ate a good meal and now i decided you know what i'm gonna start this series i'm gonna go out and throw um each t each day that i'm done i go and i put all my stats into a spreadsheet and I'm just going to calculate over time, and hopefully you guys can see the graph at the end of this. And hopefully on the last day, it says Gavin Young hit 80 miles per hour. Um, today I did just the normal pitching for my program, and then I did a pull down after. My phone sadly died during the pull down. But, yeah, um, high school season, I'm going to touch on that subject real quick. Um, freshman year went great. It was a fantastic year. At the at the plate, I finished batting 395. I was above 400 almost the whole season. And then I had a bit of a slump at the end of the season. I had a walk-off shot. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, pitching though, pitching was definitely the best the best uh, I've ever been. I went seven innings one game. No, six innings, and we played seven. I went six innings. And I only gave up like a couple hits. I had a ton of strikeouts. I only gave up like one run. And just off of walks and a lucky hit. But yeah, I'm like, it was just amazing season. I learned so much. I've added multiple pitches to my repertoire right now. I'm working with a four seam fastball, cutter, changeup, slider, curveball. I don't really throw my changeup. I'm trying to learn it though. Get a lot better at it. I hopefully can have that before my sophomore season starts. But yeah, um, I'm going to let you guys watch me throw and maybe I'll pop in and out and talk about my mechanics and what I need to work on. Um, see y'all at the end of the video or later.
So, big focus today was obviously getting VLO. That's going to be the goal on every video. But big focus with my mechanics today was really working on driving with my legs, getting that front foot down early after extending. So, get my stride as long as possible. And then once I get that front foot down, strike hard with it and really pull that body, use my body to create velocity with my arm, hence making the ball go fast, obviously. And so just overall i feel like i did really good today i had a brutal squad day so my as you can tell my legs are getting tired my mechanics are starting to fall out of place i'm falling over so definitely really sore today and yeah as right there i fall over but um i'm proud of the work i did today off camera um i ended up doing pull downs but my uh my phone died which is what I use for my camera. I actually have a really weird setup because I don't have a, a um, what's it called? Like a thing you put a camera on, like a pedestal thing. I don't know. I'll have to get one though. Um, if you guys have any recommendations because I'm new to this, please put a comment. Let me know what I should get for audio, for something to hold my camera or my phone, what kind of camera I should get. But thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'll check back in with y'all later, but enjoy the last couple minutes. So to end the session, I hit 68 miles an hour on a flat ground, and then I did 71 on a pull down, which was my first time doing pull downs, so I'm glad I could do that. Uh, arm was only feeling about 80% today. I'm still trying to come back from that shoulder, but overall, just a good day. Best thing about starting at a low point is you can only go up. You can only get better, and remember that whenever you're struggling, on something that you're starting whenever you start you only go up or if you have an injury i know you feel like you're at rock bottom but the only way is up and that's just a big lesson you have to take away from situations like this but remember get one percent every day get one percent better every day and stay positive peace out y'all